how to use Medicare online. Medicare is an American federal um, health care program for citizens 65 and over. Medicare is a different program than MediAid, which offers health and other services to eligible low income people of all ages. Medicare Online. Medicare Online gives seniors a better understanding of your options with Medicare. Medicare helps pay for inpatient care in a hospital or limited time in a nursing facility and services from doctors and other health care providers. Medicare has an advantage plan with benefits for prescription, vision, dental, and hearing. Uh, MediAid Online. MediAid Online offers Oh, sorry, I can't see the word on many nursing things like home care and personal care services. Medicare provides benefits including inpatient and outpatient hospital services, uh, physician services, x rays, and home care services, among others. They also help cover the cost of prescription drugs. Things you can do on with the Medicare website. So there's electronic prescribing. You're able to find information on medical situa situations such as disabilities or diseases. Um, you can file claim or appeals and it will be paid for by Medicare if you follow it within 12 months. You are able to get uh, retire retiree insurance and have coverage on many medical costs and prescription drugs. You can sign up for Part A hospital ins insurance or Part B medical insurance. Part A will be covered, but you may have to pay a premium for Part B. So step-by-step step, how to set up an account on the Medicare website. So here is a picture of what the app or website should look like, the icon. So if you're like downloading the app, that's the one you should choose to download. Okay, step one. First, you go online and look up www.medicare.gov government in your search bar. And it should bring you to this website here. Uh, once you're on the website, you should see login slash create account. So you would go and click on um, create account. Once you press on it, it should give you the option to log in or create account by clicking create account now. Now you will fill in all the fields required of you and press the next button. Five, you will then enroll in your in either part A, B, C, or D of Medicare. And I'll be talking more about the different parts uh, further in the presentation. Um, six, once you have enrolled in, and entered all your information for your account, you will be sent a Medicare card and a letter on how Medicare works. So over here are some pictures of what the card looks like that you will be getting in the mail once you sign up. How to enroll in Medicare during your enrollment period. One, visit your local security, social security office in person. Two, call social security at 1-800 772-1213. Three, mail a letter to your social security that includes your name, social, social, oh my gosh, sorry, social security number and the date you would like to be enrolled in Medicare. Four, you can also apply online by going to the social security administration at www.ssa.gov. GOV. Um, different Medicare plans you can sign up for. And down here are the four parts, just so you can see a little picture. Uh, so part A, hospital coverage. Um, things that are covered in part A are skilled nursing care, limited at home services, uh, hospice care, inpatient care and hospital with semi-private rooms, 
regular meds and medications and cost zero dollars for most people, but if applicable, it can be 458 per month and $1,008 per period, per benefit period. Part B, uh, medical insurance. So you can have alcohol use counseling, doctor visits, uh, diabetes screenings, chemotherapy and physiotherapy, certain tests and screenings, flu shots, mental health care, durable medical equipment, for example, wheelchairs, and it costs about um, $144.60 with the monthly premium and $198 for annual deductible. Part C, Medicare Advantage Plans. It all, all in one alternatives to Medicare that are offered by private companies approved through Medicare. Covers dental, vision, doctor's appointments, prescription drugs, and hearing. It includes everything from Part A and Part B, plus additional benefits that you are able to enroll for through a private health plan. The cost of this part is zero a zero dollar premium. Part D, prescription drug plans. It is available in a stand in standalone plans or as part of Medicare Advantage plans. It covers outpatient prescription drugs through private plans in contract with Medicare. And the cost of this part is 435 per year. Um, while I was doing my research, I found that most people um, do part A and B, but some people do part all of the parts or you can choose whichever one you want. Um, so what's covered in the Medicare app? What's covered What's covered in Medicare app is available for free in both the App Store and Google Play. The app delivers general cost coverage and eligibility details for items and services covered. By Medicare Part A and Part B, search or browse to learn what's covered and not covered. How and when to get basic, basic um, Oh, sorry, I was reading the wrong part. How and when to get covered benefits and basic cost information. You can also get a list of covered preventative services. So here is when you would go to look for the app. So this is what it should look like and what you would download if you want the app instead of just logging in through the website. Pros and cons of the Medicare app. Um, so the pros are that it's available to use on any device without any Wi-Fi connection. It's convenient to access and use. Secure doesn't ask for the user's specifics. Um, educational about your health and options for insurance and coverages on medical care. Cons. Um, it is not personalized, doesn't have the ability to factor in supplemental insurance, co-insurance co or deductibles, and lack of approval and regulation with certain medical aspects on the app. Pros. Pros and cons of Medicare website. Pros. You are able to look up and use on any device, able to log into your account to get personalized information, and it is educational about your health and your health and options for insurance and coverages on medical care. Cons: It cannot be used without Wi-Fi, which makes it inconvenient. Um, not not a lot of data privacy and lack of regulation and approval with certain aspects on as on the website. How is Medicare responding to COVID nineteen? Medicare covers virtual doctor check-ins, Medicare covers lab tests for COVID-19 and medically necessary hospitalizations. If, if and when a vaccine becomes available, it will be covered by Medicare. And you can go to the website here, the www.medicare.gov slash Medicare coronavirus for 
up-to-date information and resources about how to, to use SAFE during COVID-19. If you have any more questions, use the live chat. If you need help navigating the website, you can chat with a Medicare help agent through the website's live chat feature. Input the required information and then click start chat. So when you're on the website, it should look like this. Don't have Medicare. What you can do is the most private insurance companies will also have sites that can be used to access this information online and it can save a lot of time and hassle. Check online to see if you can access your health care plan from your phone or computer. And now I will be doing a live demo of the Medicare website. So let me get out of presenting this. Hold on, exit full screen. And now I'll go to the website. Okay, so the way I got to the website was I went on Google and I looked up www medicare.gov.gov. So um, then you click on the first one there. It should show, hold on, maybe I can go back and show. Here, you click on this first one, the official US government site for Medicare. And then it'll go to the home screen here and then you have different options of what you can do on the website. So here you can pick what language you want it in. So they have it in Spanish or English. And if you wanna make the size of the print or the text bigger, you can make it bigger by going here. Or if you wanna print anything off the website, you can press print by pressing here. Um, so if you wanna make an account, like I said before, when I was doing the step-by-step -step how to make an account, there's the lot, you press this login to create account. And I'm not gonna make an account, but I can press on it for now and just show you what you'd be entering. Some of you may have an account and might know already how to do this, but just for others. So here you would log in to your account, but if you don't have one, you would press here in blue where it says create an account now, and then you'd have to enter all the required information, but I won't get too, into too much detail with that because we need to look at other things on the website. Um, so over here, it says where you can sign up and change any plans. So you could also, instead of pressing the where it says in blue login slash create account you can go here get started with medicare or how do you get different plans it's all here and it's about like your coverage and all of that and like health plans and how you can enroll here is your medicare costs um it just shows what each part costs and um all the different plans you have. And here is where you can check um, when the costs change yearly, but you can also change, look at it here if you wanna see um, what Medicare covers. So it just shows like what each part covers for the different plans you want or like different types of screenings and tests you want done through Medicare. And then here is about part D, the drug coverage. So you can find out how to get prescription drugs, what Medicare part D plans covers and all the costs and insurance. Um, here's supplements and other insurance. So this is how where you would see how Medicare works with other insurance, the retiree insurance and um, the Medigap and all that, the different policies. Here's where you would do find your claims and appeals. If you would like to file a claim, you go to all these different parts or file an appeal and you can see your rights and all that. This is where you can manage your health. So if you wanna look 
for more information on like a situation about like a disability or a disease or your electronic prescribing for prescription drugs, you can go here and you can find all that. And then here is just forms and help resources. So if you want to get more help, if you don't understand something on the website or you want to like figure out your privacy and all your contacts or like all the forms for Medicare, you're able to go here and look. Also, if you wanna search for anything on the website, you'd search here. Say if you want to look up like prescription drugs, you know, prescription drugs, search. Um, then it would have a bunch of different results here and you can look at what, whatever you were looking for or you can look for specifically like drug coverage for part D, but it's also in right here too. So if you look here, it probably show you most of the information that you search. But if it's for something specific that's already not in these, you can use the search bar as well. And then here is just like about us, about the website and Medicare. If you wanna learn more about where you're getting all your insurance and all that, you can go there and yeah, and here you can find your how to get is, like your issues with your card. If you have any issues, you're able to figure that out through here and find local help. Um, or if you want to get any important information, you're able to put in your email. But I'm sure when you make an account, you'd have to put in your email anyways. But yeah, and then down here you just find what's new on Medicare, the website, and